All right, welcome to another NYC CNC video. I've uh, been excited to do this one for a while. I'm finally getting settled into my new apartment here in Manhattan and wanted to take this opportunity to just give a little video tour of uh, all the equipment and uh, accessories I've been able to purchase and uh, hope that other folks will learn something and also hope that other folks will do the same in terms of taking some video and showing everything that they own. Um, I found it incredibly helpful and I definitely learn a lot when I see what other people have. Um, so here we go. I figure I'll just start over here. I've got a bookshelf which I use here for um, a set of transfer punches, a few accessories for painting, a, I've got some 1 thou and 3 thou brass shim stock, a couple of wrenches, and then here I've got I've got a uh, depth mic and here I've got a set of angle blocks. On the shelf below is where I keep most of my liquids. I've got a few cans of WD-40, um, some lithium grease, some paint thinner, um, another tube of lithium grease, blue and uh, red Dicom layout fluid, some different tapping fluids, um, for most of the stuff I've purchased from Enco, and then the mobile Vectra Way oil number two, which is what I use for my uh, lathe and actually now for my mill as well for the Gibbs and Ways. On the shelf below, I've got the uh, the big book, my Enco catalog, a few other vendors, some of the smaller uh, catalogs, a little machine shop, uh, 2L Inc., Harvey Tools is in there. I've got my machine machinery handbook, uh, and then a few other books over here. The shelf below, I've got a set of some different clamps, some uh, cant twist clamps. I've got a small punch I purchased from Grizzly, which works fine. And then just some miscellaneous stuff on the shelf below. I keep some sheet metal stock lined up over here. And then next, this is probably the, the heart of the accessories and such is my workbench. Um, I've got, I'll start over here, my set of ER16 collets. I've got my electronic height gauge. Got a small granite block with a dial indicator on it, a couple more tapping fluids and cutting fluids. I tend to organize this by sort of theme, and this store, for example, has all my small cutters and engravers. Here I've got my two flute uh, end mills that I'm currently using, a cheap set of parallels. Um, these are all different 1 8 inch end mills, miscellaneous quarter by uh, 20 stuff. Here are a couple of custom or higher quality taps and dies. Here are various center finders and edge finders as well. And here as well as a couple of chamfer tools. I've got uh, some risers there for fixture plates. I've got a uh, thickness gauge as well as a thread gauge in Imperial and then a center finder for um, round stock extra end mills that I dip into when uh, the other ones are worn out. Uh, the same as well as a and a slitting saw for the mill, which I don't use all that often. Uh, these are four flute end mills, some more quarter by 20, some metric washers and nuts, some more quarter by 20, q-tips and toothpicks, miscellaneous lathe parts, and just a miscellaneous sort of grab-all drawer. I've got my uh, set of metric drill bits. I've got a set of numbered drill bits here. And then I've got a high set of or high quality set of precision twist drill uh, fractional drill bits, which are great. All right, moving along. I do I use the socket head cap screws a lot, so I keep um, a couple kits here of various different sizes. These are not too expensive and they're definitely handy to have around um, to find those useful. I've got a couple sets of perforated one, two, three blocks. Uh, I've got miscellaneous fixturing parts here which are most, mostly for the mill. I've got a Fowler uh, coaxial indicator, which is great, mostly used for the lathe, but also can be used on the mill. I've got my uh, 
set of machinist squares and then a high quality set of precision parallels which are also great. I've got a relatively inexpensive set of taps and corresponding drills that I purchased from Grizzly. Uh, I, I find that the if I use any of these a lot, I buy higher quality taps as they're, they're just much easier to cut with. I've got a Fowler uh, dial indicator set with a magnetic base and arm. And I've got an SPI. Um, I'm actually not sure what, the, what you call this, but I use it to uh, chuck in my mill and I attach a dial indicator to it and it helps tram up the column uh, with here are a set of uh, Allen wrenches, a uh, scribe, a uh, automatic punch, a, an inexpensive dial indicator, a 5x multiplier or magnifier, a dial indicator with a magnetic base. There's my bandsaw with a modified bench table and, and guide rail. Here's my MicroMark 7x14 lathe. I've got a six inch buffer wheel with uh, let's see, there's a rake there on top and a few other accessories and rouge down below. Underneath my workbench I keep a Diacro 12 inch finger brake. I've only got a couple fingers in it now. I've got a Grizzly 24 inch finger brake and then I've got a Diacro 12 inch shear. And then in this Tupperware I keep a um, granite surface plate, a cheap one from Enco. It only costs I think about $15 along with some sandpaper I keep in there which I'll use for, for lapping or wet sanding something. Over here I've got a couple sheet metal projects that I'm working on. Underneath there I've got my 6 inch grinder with a aluminum oxide wheel for uh, sharpening high speed steel tools as well as on the other side I've got a diamond wheel for carbide. Here I've got a Diacro 6 inch notcher. Underneath my mill I've got uh, my sort of aluminum s stock of all flat stock or anything that's not round, which I buy mostly online, unfortunately, because there's no other easy way for me to get it. Um, and I've got a couple other accessories there, a small vise and a V-block and a dead blow hammer. And then over here, underneath my computer, I keep uh, all my aluminum round stock. Next to my mill, I've got my Air silent air compressor, which I'll just turn on quickly. You can hear it's really quiet. I've plumbed in a 11 gallon tank behind it and then here's the mill, my CNC mill with the controller and enclosure and then next to it is my computer which I do all my modeling and CAD on as well.